How long can you hold your breath? I don't know either. Today we're going to find out, as well as dig into something called the dive reflex. The dive reflex is something that happens in mammals. When your face is submerged in water colder than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, your heart rate can drop up to 25% in order to conserve oxygen in your body to keep you alive longer if you're submerged. Today we're going to test the dive reflex out. I've already tested my normal resting heart rate. It's about 72 beats per minute. Let's find out what happens when I submerge my face in water and see if my heart rate drops. Let's see how long I can hold my breath under normal circumstances. But in three, that's about normal for an adult male. Let's see what happens when we submerge our face in water. Oh hi, about to put my face in this water. It's not gonna be fun. Let's see how much my heart rate drops with my face submerged in water. <laughs> That was 16 beats. So if we do the math, 16 times 4, 64 beats per minute. It's a pretty significant drop. Should be able to hold my breath a lot longer underwater. My original heart rate was 72. Now it's 62 with my face submerged in water. That's a decrease of 16%, which is pretty good. Let's see how much longer I can hold my breath underwater. Here we go. One twenty-eight. Oh, not bad. That increases my chance of survival. Started out at one oh three, ended up at one twenty-eight. I had to change my shirt. Everything was wet. But to recap, my original holding breath time was one minute and three seconds. After submerging my face in cold water, it was one minute and twenty-eight seconds. That increases my time of survival by that much. If I'm underwater and submerged, I'm relying on that dive reflex to survive. The cool thing about this experiment is that you can try it at home. Although I will admit it's not very pleasant, it's still possible and it's for the sake of science. Thanks for watching Random Knowledge. Random Knowledge for random people. Have a good day. Didn't start. <sighs>